Hey all here, OS Reviews. So a few months ago, we did a review on a Qi wireless power bank that was by this company called Hakonoi, and you guys seem to like that quite a bit. It was very low cost, but also performed quite well, including both USB ports and that Qi contact point, which works with devices like the iPhone X, for instance, and the Galaxy S8, S9. Well, now the company has come out with a newer, updated second generation model, so we'll be taking a look at that in this video. Packaging is as simple as before, just a quick user manual. The small model number is the M10,000. It's about the size of a typical smartphone, maybe a 5.5 inch device. And what's different compared to the original, what we can immediately see is how much glossier it is. It's now made entirely out of this glossy plastic material, kind of like a piano, very reflective. Definitely will attract fingerprints more. Not quite as practical as the last generation, which was coated in a soft touch rubber material that's easier to grip. It has a type C port now, which is new and supports a DC five volt, three amps for uh, the output. So it's a Again, going to give you sufficient power to charge even larger devices like tablets uh, in this case. On the top, we have all the ports, including the two USB ports, one which is orange, which has a 12 volt, 9 volt, and 5 volt. So this is flexible. And this one has 5 volt, 2 amps. On the edge here, we have the type C port, both for input and output at 5 volt, 3 amps. So again, some new features, including a flexible voltage on the smart USB port, one which is standard, and also in a third one, which is a type C port. So very very interesting. We still have the quick charge uh, Qi contact point on the front, and there's still a button that you can tap on once to activate the display on the front. It's just hidden now. That tells you the battery percentage remaining in a digital display, as you can see there. The back here for the stand, you can easily pop this out at an angle. So just like before, you're able to pop it at angles like this for, uh, again, watching movies without having to hold it using your hands. Now, one thing I didn't like before that they still haven't changed is making the arm a little longer. This is as far out as it can extend. So for thicker devices uh, with larger batteries, it doesn't seem to work. You can still charge your phone when you're watching media, but again, it doesn't really tilt back that much. It's a very kind of straight on angle. So if the table is lower than eye level, it makes content you know, watching not quite as enjoyable because you would ideally want it to tilt it back a little bit more. First, let's discuss the wireless charging. So if you have an iPhone or an Android device here that's touching, it will have a green light that tells you that the wireless charging is activated. And we can see that indeed it's charging along. Uh, the charging speed for the Qi is still not quite as fast as some dedicated quick charge enabled wireless chargers. It's still going to take about two hours to completely charge up a typical smartphone. Again, because of the slick surface, it does tend to move around a little bit more freely than on the last generation model. Uh, the contact point seems to be fairly wide in terms of its shape, so you can move it around ever so slightly and it still keeps on charging, but uh, because it's glossy, it can slide off a bit more easily than I'd like. So let's talk about the USB ports next, uh, because we have uh, essentially now three ports plus the Qi point, we can charge up to four devices simultaneously, and it doesn't really have any issues in terms of performance, even if I charge up using all four of those ports. For these typical phones using the USB ports, again, they will be charged up in under uh, an hour and a half, typically, so uh, charging rates are fairly consistent. It is a smart power bank in the sense that it will stop charging once battery reaches 100% on each separate device. So even if I have, again, three or four devices charging at the same time, it's going to stop charging one phone if this device has reached 100% already. And yes, although you can charge a power bank using micro USB, using type C on the side here, where it can also charge, again, the fourth device, is going to be the fastest way of recharging up this power bank itself. Uh, using type C, it will be fully charged up in under three and a half to four hours hours or so. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the second generation Hakanoi wireless Qi power bank. It really is one of the most fully functioning power banks in, in a relatively low cost, including charging four devices with a wireless pad on the top, including a media stand which you can slide out for watching videos without having to hold your device. And this new generation model upgrades by again having a flexible voltage USB port which is smarter in addition to having that type C port on the side. Downsides would include the fact that it's very glossy and I definitely prefer the last generation finish and you have to consistently wipe it off with a cloth to keep it fingerprint free. 
free. But aside from that cosmetic complaint, I do think that this is a nice upgrade in almost all departments. So if you're looking for a strong travel companion in a form of a new power bank, this is definitely one that you should consider taking a closer look at. You can check out more details in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews, that's been the newly upgraded second generation version of the Hakanoi Wireless Qi 10,000 mAh capacity power bank.